God is our loving Father forever. He, through His Son Jesus Christ, has attested Dill Ministries International DMI as one of the most loving, exceedingly powerful mega church ministries that wipes the tears of multitudes with immediate signs, wonders, miracles, and healings. The blind see, deaf hear, dumb speak, lame walk, various dreadful diseases instantly disappear and all the tears of the brokenhearted are wiped away at once. Jesus loves you. God is your father and my father. As you are about to watch this television program called Miracle Moments, my beloved people of God, be well assured God is your father. He loves you. No matter who you are, no matter where you are, no matter in what situation you are, only believe God is your father and he loves you he loves you with an everlasting love. Jesus said, I have come that you shall have life and have it more in abundance. As you watch this Miracle Moments program, you may be in tears. You may be going through hardships in life. You may be feeling awfully sick with some disease. Believe Jesus Christ shed his blood. He forgave all our sins, no matter who we are. And he rose from the dead. He is alive. He has sent the Holy Spirit to heal you and fill you and give you life and life in abundance. Today, Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father. He loves you. As you watch this program, he will confirm his word with signs, wonders, miracles, healings right now because he loves you and he loves you and because he lives, you shall live also. God loves you. Pastor, this is Sabita. For a long time, she's been having pain in her left eye and uneasiness as well, running down her left arm and complete left side. She says she couldn't even sleep on her left hand side. But tonight, when he pronounced that Jesus is coming besides you, she saw the vision that Jesus is taking all the pains. She's My checked Lord herself. Jesus. It's all it's all gone, child. You can move your hand, child. You can you up and down. Child. You uh, the pain on your left eye. And you saw Jesus coming by your side. She touched your eye, took it off. You can move your hand. Sir. You can move it this way, that way. Look at the joy. She saw Jesus coming and putting her hand, his hand. Lift your hands to Jesus. He loves you, child. Pastor, this is Grace. For over a week, Pastor, she's been suffering with pain in her right hand, running up her arm. As you called it out, instantly the pain left. Completely your fingers healed. and your arm, child, it came down. Now you can move your fingers, you can raise it up and show me. You came with this here child tonight, it's over now, it's over. Who healed this blessed girl? Lift your hands to Jesus. Pastor, this is Sebastian and his son David. Yes. His son David had chest congestion for the last two weeks. Mm. And he's here to testify that he's fully healed. Gone son. Completely. How did you test him? How, how do you know it's gone? It's all stopped now, as he was here. It's all stopped, and you saw him fine. And Lift also, pa yes, Pastor, son. the father, on both the soles of his feet, he had pain for the last one month. Excruciating, excruciating pain, but that pain is complete. Completely gone, son. You can take your hand, my loving son, and stamp your feet and show. You came with that pain, son. It's gone, son. You can jump and show me. All the pain is gone, and he healed your blessed son. He healed you. Lift your hand to this blessed father and son. Irene, Irene, receive your miracle. Pastor, through the word of knowledge, you call the name Irene. She's Irene. She came burdened because of her job. Now she's got great Irene, peace and joy. Your job stays. Jesus stays at the right hand. Your job stays. Keep praising, child. 
He called your name to give you that faith. Pastor, this is Sangeeta and she was having nerve pains for several months. Mm -hmm. but, the, but the moment you pronounce it's healing, she said, it's all gone. Jesus has healed her. My Lord, you're fine, child. All the pains in your legs, huh? And my toes, it's gone, child. Completely gone. Who healed this beloved daughter? A great wife, a great mother, a beloved child. Lift your hands to Jesus. Pastor Anil came with pain in both his eyes. Mm -hmm. And he sat there behind and say immediately the word started he realizes the pain just vanished completely gone son you came with your eyes paining it's totally gone son who healed this loving son who healed this blessed son lift your hands and say thank you to jesus pastor this is princess she came to the service today with pain on her shoulders running down to her arms she couldn't lift her arms now she says it's completely gone completely you couldn't lift healed. your arms child when you came now you can do it can rotate it my lord my lord my lord you couldn't you were having the pain you couldn't do that when you came in here who healed this beloved girl who healed this beloved child of god lift your hands to jesus pastor this is pravira yes sir. three weeks he's been having pain at the sole of his foot and he says that ever since he's been having this pain came with the pain and after he's just taken the testimony he has realized there's just no more now pain. it went off son you can stamp your feet son no pain at all no pain at all just now son bless you great family lift your hand to jesus pastor this is eunice for one week she's been suffering with pain at the back of her neck and her head pastor she came with that pain the pain is now completely came gone with that pain, son. completely healed you can move it up and down all that pain is gone completely gone you feel fine, sir. Who healed this beloved girl? Who healed this beloved girl? Lift your hands to Jesus. Someone praising Lord, come by here. Someone praising Lord. Holy Spirit is within you now. Holy Spirit is within you. Holy Spirit is within you. The kingdom of God is within you. Holy Spirit is healing you. Holy Spirit is healing you. Jesus is healing you. Jesus is healing you. Jesus is healing you. Jesus is delivering you. Jesus is healing you. Jesus is blessing you. Jesus is blessing your child. Jesus is healing your child. Jesus is delivering your home. Jesus is blessing your finances. Jesus is blessing your job. Jesus is healing you. Jesus is delivering you. There is life, 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 life coming to you now. Receive, receive, receive. He was walking along the road to Jericho. A blind man, Bartimaeus. Bartimaeus was there, son of Timaeus in the highway he was his life has come to a standstill he was blind he was begging he was begging he was blind he was on the highway highway no one stops to hear someone else highway no one stops to help someone else you can't stop on a highway and there on the road of impossibility he is seated there, a beggar. If he had been in a town or a junction or a, uh, or a town center or the entrance of a, a city or a, a village, people will come, they will give him something. He, and there would be more opportunities. He was in a place where rarely a good opportunity came in his life. But there rarely a good opportunity came in his life. Impossible place. My loving child, people can reject you and, neg and neglect you and discourage you. Don't let the dirty, defeated devil tell you anything. And when you welcome Jesus and say, Lord, I belong to you and welcome him, Holy Spirit comes, he's the spirit of Jesus. And from there you rise up again. Every moment in your life, every moment. My loving children, he loves you. Jesus never stopped. He came to do the Father's will. How many times, he, my beloved, even, even when, he was, when he was almost born in the birth of his mother, my loving child, Herod was after him to kill him. My beloved, every moment was trouble for Jesus. Every moment, beloved. He never stopped. 
He never stopped. He never stopped. He never stopped. Every moment until cross and at the cross was the climax. My beloved ones, he never stopped. He met the whole of hell personally to defeat the whole of hell to give you and me victory and victory and into heaven through rapture. My loving children, when they came to arrest him, he said, this is your hour now. It's the power of darkness now. He entered, my, he entered into the kingdom of the defeated darkness all alone, sinless, holy lamb of God. And that's why Satan and demons trembled, beloved, trembled at the holiness of Jesus, at the purity of Jesus. Oh, and just he didn't go and start fighting and kicking. No, he's not a man, a chief like us. He's the son of God. Lift your hands to him. He just went and stretched his hand. Give me the keys of heads and hell. That's all. Satan bowing down. Oh, please, please don't destroy us now. Don't destroy us now. We are defeated. All our authority is now gone. We give you the keys of heads and hell. And if anyone calls your name, we will all run. Uh, and you are now frightened of all these silly fellows. Don't read books about them. If you don't have any book, at least read my book even. But Bible is the best and the only good book. My loving children. Paul was, Saul was zealous. He will go for it. What he feels right, he'll go for it. God loved that nature. Who gave him that nature? He didn't inherit from his father and mother. God, Jesus, because all creation was created by the creator Jesus. God saw that he has put that in the base. Now, when he chose him on the way to Damascus, he shone his glory on him and came before him. Saul, Saul, why persecutest me? Who are you, Lord? I am Jesus. Lift your hands to him. He is here tonight. The moment he said, I am Jesus, the grace of Jesus filled him to cleanse him and save him. And when Ananias left, put his hand on him, the Holy Spirit came into him and took that nature of Jesus, well hidden, but used for a wrong purpose. He took that nature and built on that. And today, Paul bears the scars of Jesus in heaven with Jesus, living with Jesus. So every one of you build on Christ. He is going to build you on him. My beloved, you are, he is the foundation. He is the cornerstone. Don't give up. Your life is never a failure. Your home is never a failure. Your health is never a failure. Your job is never a failure. Your profession is never a failure. Your ministry is never a failure. If you don't stop, you are a victorious person. Don't stop. You are a victorious person. When you don't stop, he's going to build you up. Bartimaeus heard that Jesus is coming there. He began to praise him. Son of David. He connected him, Jesus to David because he was, you know, what this man did, he started praising Jesus. Son of David, son of David. He started, he had a little bit of instinct from David. Though on that road of impossibility, having nothing to do, begging there, no eyes, no money, no family, no home, nothing. My beloved, this fellow had a natural trait that once he knows once something is right, he will never stop calling for it. He wants it. He wants that good thing in his life. Once you know something is good, don't stop even if others discourage you. Don't stop even if you don't get it at the first attempt. Oh, 
my beloved children, don't stop. You are precious by the blood of Jesus. You are precious by the Holy Spirit in you. The kingdom of God is within you. He has already planted that personality trait in you and me. It's from Jesus, the King of Kings, that you are going to be a king and a queen one day in anything that you do. Oh, you will overcome every struggle and recover all for the praise and the honor and the glory of Jesus. Beloved ones, he heard it was Jesus and he said, Son of David, Son of David. He knows now this is his appropriate moment. He knew this is the good thing that he was waiting for. He wanted his eyes to be opened. He wanted a blessed life. He didn't want to sit there and beg in life, borrowing, borrowing. No, when God, my borrowing is going to be over, don't be satisfied. There are people to give you. Please, there must be a time when you should rise and say, God, I am just blessing your church and your kingdom and your people now. My loving children, my great children, my beloved children, he is here tonight. He loves you. He loves you. He is son of David. Son of David. Because he was waiting for this opportunity. He believed the only person who can give him life, who can give him sight, who can make him rise and walk again is Jesus. Oh, he heard he was coming and he started praising. When you know that Jesus is there for you, don't stop praising him. When you know that his power is available for you in a powerful church like this, don't stop. Stop, my loving child when you know that the Bible is the word of God and the life of God don't stop keep praising 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 you may have failed you may have failed in your finance in your job in your marriage anywhere no you are never a failure you may have failed but you are not a failure if you say God I'm going to start again praising you thanking you and he will build on that tonight itself search for yourself there is a hidden pearl inside every one of you that's your personality that Jesus has given you for Bartimaeus if he knows this is good for me this is what that will save me this is what that will heal me this is what that will make me a man blessed on this earth I'm not going to leave it at any cost I'm not going to leave it at any cost you know that Jesus is your savior, don't leave him. You know that Jesus is the only way to heaven, don't leave him. You know that Jesus is the healer and the deliverer, don't leave him. They will laugh at you when you are still trying to do it. They will laugh at you. Doesn't matter, that's the cross. They will say you have failed, you can't make it. Don't, don't be troubled. They will stop you. They stop this fellow from shouting and praising Jesus. He never stopped. He continued more. He shouted much more. That's the cross. Even your own people, so-called Christians, can say this and that. Just bless them, ignore them. You have to pursue with Jesus. Praise. Not with anger, but with affection. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you not with pride, but with humility. What was the personality trait of Mary that she will never stop? The blessed mother of Mary, you know what? At any cost, at the risk of anything, when it comes to the word of God, she will submit. It was at the risk of her life that she submitted to Gabriel when he brought the word from heaven, from the Father. To your word I submit. Luke 1 verse 38. God knew this. This is a girl on the face of this earth. To my word, she will submit. And the Bible says God will glorify his word more than all. That's why he chose her in her virgin womb before any man spoils her. In her virgin womb, let my son come, God as man. Lift your hands to Jesus. He shouted more and more. He said, stop, stop. He said, nothing doing. This is the good person in my life. This is the good person who will do the good thing in my life. I'm a beggar. I'm a poor man. I have no eyes. Jesus stopped and commanded him. Commanded him. Commanded him. When you don't stop, Jesus will stop for you. Jesus will stop 
for you by your side. Commanded him. He didn't request Peter or James or John. He said he commanded. And he was brought. How did he come? He threw his coat and came. This is my hour. This is my miracle moment. This is my time for the miracle. Because when you don't stop, you are going to be a victor any time. In any place of your life. Any place of your life. He threw his coat. He threw his coat. Because he knew Jesus has known what he had given him. A non-stop attitude for the good thing in life. Lord, this is the good blessing in my life that I was waiting for. This is the good miracle I was longing for. This is the good time I was waiting for. This is that moment I will never miss it. No matter who stops, I will do it much more. Tonight is your night for your miracle. Jesus said, what is it that I should do for you? He removed his shirt and came. He removed his shirt. That was the beggar's coat. That was the blind man's coat. He removed it. Because Jesus is now going to build a new in him again. Now it's God going to build now on what he has given. Oh, it's God now. Dirty, defeated devil tampered with his life. Stopped him from believing Jesus. Stopped him from moving victoriously. And put him on a highway as a beggar, as a blind man. But when the moment came, when he knew the good one is coming now, he started praising and praising and praising. Son of David, son of David. When they tried to stop him, he did it more, the Bible. He loves you. Jesus is here tonight. Jesus said, what is it that I should do for you? What is it that I should do for you when you don't stop? The question that Jesus will ask you, he will stop by your side. He will command you so that nothing stops you. If he had called him, someone else would have tried to stop him. When Jesus commands, when the king of kings commands, no one can stop you from the blessing. No one can take that blessing out of your life. Why? Because King of Kings has commanded you to come. Tonight, come to him. Wherever you are seated, come to him. Wherever you are seated, come with your mind, with your soul, with your spirit. Lord, here I am. I was slowing down. I was slowing down. I was discouraged. I had reasons to give. No, Lord, tonight I am back on the track again. Because I am pursuing to win because of you and with you, Jesus. Lord said, what is it that I should do for you? My loving God. You know what that is? In the, on the other side of that question is everything, whatever you need, you can take. It's given to you. It's given to you. What is it that I should do for you? It's all given to you now. It's given to you. He said, Lord, I must receive my sight. He said, go thy way. Your faith has made you whole. His eyes were open. He received his sight and went following Jesus. Following Jesus. Following Jesus. Following Jesus. His eyes were opened immediately. Here tonight, Jesus tells me to tell you not to stop. Jesus tells me to tell you to do it more. Jesus loves you, beloved people of God. God is your Father. You have nothing to fear as you watch us live on YouTube. Only believe Jesus will do the needed miracle for you. His great power will flow into your lives, into your bodies, into every area of your life as you watch us live on YouTube. And beloved people of God, it's called YouTube and Jesus is looking at you. It's you that he loves you. It's you that he is going to bless you. So it's YouTube. So it's your time for a miracle. You will receive the miracle as you watch us live on YouTube. Subscribe to us and be with us as a family in the love of Jesus. 
Receive your miracle as you watch us live on YouTube. Jesus loves you. God loves you, beloved. God is your Father. Jesus said, Whatever you ask the Father in my name, I will do it for you, for my Father's glory. You have watched this program, Miracle Moments, and you have seen quite a many being healed. You have watched the testimonies and the praise reports. Now I am going to pray for you. I am going to ask Jesus to confirm his word in your life. No matter where you are, no matter what your disease, I'm going to pray for you. Jesus will heal you now. He will wipe away all your tears. I will pray for you right now. Loving Father, your loving children have watched this program. And I only ask you, Father, in all humility, in Jesus' name, your only begotten Son, Jesus' name, who is seated at your right hand side, Father, Whatever your children ask you, whatever your beloved people who watch this program ask you, Father, in Jesus' name, let it be done unto them. That's your word, God. Holy Spirit, I thank you, God. With your great power, you will fill your children. Whoever watches this, whatever may be their diseases, whatever may be the sicknesses, whatever may be the setbacks in their physical health, Lord Jesus, in your name, by your blood, by your resurrection, by your great Holy Spirit, by your holy word, and in your name, Jesus, let all these diseases, all these sicknesses disappear right now in the name of Jesus. Father, as you stretch your hands over these loving children, let your mighty power of the Holy Spirit flow into every cell of their body, into every organ of their body. Let them receive their healing and wholeness in life. Now, right now, Father, I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Let the blind see, let the deaf hear, let the lame walk, let the dumb speak, let the dead rise. Let all their tears be wiped away. Let them all give you the glory and the honor and the praise. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen.